Hello everyone. Assalamu alaikum. Namaskaram. Today's live session is going to be about Aida model and uh, content ideas, not content strategy. Um, the title I've given is slightly wrong. Anyway, uh, it's still a part of content strategy anyway. Um, can you guys tell me whether you can hear me fine? Can you give me a wave or a thumbs up or tell me where you're from? Hey. You can hear me fine, yeah? Okay, all right. So I will move straight into today's session. Um, don't want to keep you guys waiting. Um, in the meantime, it would be great if you could um, use the little heart button and give the live session some engagement. You can tell us what you do or what your business is about and um, leave your location in the comments. And also if you have any questions that you want to ask, you can use the little question bubble. You know the speech bubble with a question mark at the bottom of your screen. You can use that if you have any questions to ask. Okay, so let's talk about IDA model or IDA marketing funnel. Um, IDA actually st uh, stands for four things, attention, interest, desire, and uh, action. Uh, just a second. Okay. So this is the poster that I made. I hope you can see it clearly. Um, so there are four steps in the funnel called IDA. It's basically a marketing method, uh, so to speak, to put it very simply. It's a marketing method or a marketing strategy that you can implement in your business. And it has four steps. The first one, as you can see in the poster, is attention. The second is interest. Third is desire. And the fourth is action. There's one more actually. Uh, now with digital marketing, we can add one more step to this funnel or to, to the flow. Um, but I'll get to that a little later. <clears throat> so, um, attention, the first stage. What is attention? What is it that you are trying to do here? Basically, this is the stage of a buyer's journey where someone who has never heard of you or your brand is going to come to know about you. Um, Okay, um, an example that I would like to take here is 82E, which is a skincare brand by uh, Deepika Padukone. Now, I don't follow Deepika Padukone on social media uh, and I don't follow 82E either. But since I am into skincare, I get ads from them. You know, the Instagram ads you see when you uh, open your Instagram app. So I get ads from them time to time showing the different products. So that was how I came to know about the product or the brand. So the first stage attention or awareness is where your prospects or people who might be interested in your product or service is going to come to know about you. And uh, in at this stage you have to create content or you have to do things like activities, marketing activities that speaks to people who are not aware of your product or service yet. Um, so what are some of the content ideas? Um, you can have a launch funnel. So when I say launch funnel, funnel, what I mean is if you are, let's say, launching a new product or service, you should start planning and creating content and talking about it at least 90 days in advance because it takes that long for people to start hearing about the whatever it is that you are launching so your launch funnel about me about us uh, facebook instagram google ads webinars master classes the live session that i am doing with you right now i am doing this to create awareness about my mastermind called elevate so these are some of the things that you can do to create awareness or grab the attention of the people who have never heard about your product or service or they have probably heard of your brand but you are launching something new. Um, the next is interest. So coming back to my example, I come across the ad for 82E, the skincare 
brand by Deepika Padukone. Um, what if I am interested as a prospect in their product? What is one of the things that I would do? I would go to their profile, I would give them a follow, or I would go to their content. So this is where your social media marketing can uh, can play a big role in getting people onto your platforms and also generating interest in your products and services. So um, make sure that all your platforms, wherever you're creating and posting content, they are all um, up to date. They are all uh, uh, they all have proper content strategy, and you're not just posting what whatever you feel like. As a business owner, I'm not talking about an influencer here. I'm talking about business owners. So, what are some of the things that you can do to generate interest in your product? You can offer free consultation. So, free if you are selling a service, you can offer free consultation and then upsell your uh, products or service. You can uh, um, post content where you are showing how to use your product, tutorials. Um, email newsletter signups where there is you know you can generate leads by offering some kind of freebie or discount on your email um, then there is blog content website content there are so many things that you can do here to uh, keep the interest of the people who are now aware or who now has the attention um, about your brand then what is the next thing you can do? What the next stage of the buyer journey is desire. Okay. Again, coming back to uh, my personal experience, I come across, uh, I become aware about 82E, Deepika Padukone's skincare brand, uh, when I am the attention or the awareness level. Uh, then I give them a follow, I start consuming their content and slowly but steadily I start getting interested in their uh, products but I have not purchased yet. And then there is desire, uh, the third one, where um, I start feeling that itch to buy but I have not bought yet. So how can you generate desire? Uh, this stage is slightly difficult for us to achieve. Uh, but like every other stage this one is also important so what what are some of the things you can do you can um, collaborate with influencers and uh, you can uh, sort of push your product in the front of people again uh, 82e has collaborated with a lot of influencers i think recently i saw a reel that deepika did with uh, kusha kapila uh, an indian influencer so you can uh, collaborate with micro macro influencers depending on how much budget you have you can have these limited time offers or pro promotions you can run pr campaigns again if you have the budget for it so these are some of the things that you can do to sort of push the person or the prospect from the interest stage to the desire stage and then the next one is action action is when someone who is interested and someone who has a desire for your product actually end up buying from you so how can you encourage people to take action um by showing client testimonials client reviews see it is very very important that you actually collect reviews and testimonials from your existing clients um, even if it's a screenshot of a WhatsApp conversation, that is more than enough these days because other people, like when people see that others have bought from your brand or from your business, then they feel encouraged to buy from you as well. In the online space, there is always trust issues. People are always scared, a little scared to buy from a particular brand. So um, when you share reviews and testimonies or even client reaction videos, you will be able to push the push the prospect from the desire stage to the action stage. Um, this is also where you should give very clear CTAs. So when you're creating content, no matter where, whether it's YouTube or Instagram or LinkedIn, if your content piece of content doesn't have a clear CTA, call to action, that is buy now or limited offer, send as a DM now or sign up on the link something of that sort which is very simple but if you miss the clear cta then the chances of people taking action is very less why because many times people don't really 
know that you are selling something so if you're not making it clear in your content that you're actually selling something and you're looking to looking for a sale then the chances of them signing up for your product or service is very can uh, come down so these are the four different stages of ida marketing model or ida funnel attention interest desire action and now with uh, digital marketing there is one more step we can add here which is called advocacy i've not put it up on the poster because it doesn't belong in the original ida model but anyway there's one more stage called advocacy advocacy is when somebody else advocates for your uh, service so these days whenever we go out right as consumers whenever we go out to eat at a restaurant we put up a whatsapp status or a, an instagram story we talk about something that we purchased recently and that we liked so we are all becoming advocates for that particular brand or restaurant now you as a business owner what can you do you can encourage people to become advocates for your business um either by of like you know when you are selling out a package let's say you are an e-commerce business owner um when you are sending out a package you can uh what do i say um you can uh, insert a thank you card in which you are asking people or the buyer to share a photo or a story or a video or something uh, whether it's on their website as a review or whether it's on it's on the social platforms and tag them tag you sorry so that other people get to see your product and services well um you can also open influencers here to uh, become advocates for your brands so advocacy is an important stage now with the onset of digital marketing um so these are the i've i've kept it very brief and uh, very to the point bullet point ish um but i hope this has been helpful so attention is the stage where someone sees about or hears about your brand and has a question okay what is it interest is the stage where uh, someone feels sees something from you and feels that okay i like this and desire is when the a prospect feels okay i want it or i want this product or service and action is the stage where the uh, prospect feels okay i'm going to get this so i'm going to add it to my cart or send a dm and uh, advocacy is where uh, people are like okay i really love this product or service so i'm going to recommend this on my uh, platforms so these are the stages and this is how people go through in a buying process now <coughs> there are other marketing models as well ida isn't the only marketing model um but whichever model whichever method strategy you use always remember that your marketing strategy is aligned with the needs and values of your prospects um your marketing has to be very uh, crisp concise and strategic so that you actually get clients and good uh, high paying clients do you guys have any questions that i can answer now before i sign off from today's uh, live session i would like to tell you guys about my 12 months mastermind called elevate elevate is designed for business owners uh, especially those of you who have been in business for at least 2 years now it is the first round of mastermind so i am offering a very limited time uh, beta uh, pricing of 2000 dollars for a year if you would like to get more details about elevate or if you have any questions just send me a dm and i'll be more than happy to help or you can tap on the link in my bio um, i have put the link in my bio where you can find the details about elevate as well as send in an application um it's a program which is application based as in uh, you have to go to the link go through the details and send in the application and if you are selected i'll get in touch with you it's not open for everybody and everyone because i want to keep the mastermind um the crowd inside the mastermind uh, to be very active and people who are really motivated and disciplined to take their businesses to the next level 
um, so yeah so it's application based 